The Nicholas Segeese reporting Nicholas Segeese fans from around the world on conference call with the White House. And as everyone um, knows, I am a right hand Republican candidate in Tennessee's 8th Congressional District. And of course, Princess Beatrice, this is your elected American boyfriend speaking. So I'd like to encourage everyone to vote, whether you vote for me or Congressman Stephen Fincher. Just always participate in the electoral process. Thank you. And a corporate appreciation to the White House. And of course, this letter regarding cultural diversity has not been open for two months. We're fast approaching three months regarding another unopened letter to the President of the United States. So let's listen into the White House. Let's listen to the report. Princess Beatrix, this is your elected American boyfriend speaking. I'm so glad that you came here to Memphis. And of course, we're a celebrity couple here in Memphis. And there's so many people around the world up there. Now, a lot of people remember, you know, John John and Manita table of the president. So I kind of created a Facebook website regarding me and Princess Beatrix, the love story, of course. Some people from around the world love that. So it's pretty cool. Kind of making the Obamas kind of like the Kennedy in the 21st century with me and Princess Beatrix included. Nicholas Beatrix for a Kennedy and I kind of make Nicholas Figueroa said it's sending a return vote to Congress of the Historic District. Corporate appreciation to the White House from all of us, especially the music of the return vote. Nicholas Figueroa supporting CNN, I kind of miss it. And also a corporate appreciation to CNN International for featuring me on once again, even though I was kind of, you know, discriminated against regarding, you know, the school board is issues and everything. CNN International has always been great, gracious to me, and of course, every member of the White House press team, and of course, for people from around the world. It's always important to rise above prejudice, all of those Nicholas Cadiz fans. CNN, I kind of miss it. And CNN is a great organization as well. Support them. Even though I'm a different journalist now, they're still cool. How about America, people? 
who need to pro promote the American economy. Like a series of words. So Nicholas Gates reporting young Republican here in Tennessee's 8th Congressional District running a Republican candidate would like to encourage everyone to vote in election 2014, whether it's me or for Congressman Fincher. Right now I'm on conference call with the White House, and of course Princess Beatrix, this is your elected American boyfriend, promoted on Facebook that everyone loves us, this is the celebrity couple here in Memphis, a corporate appreciation to the global community. So Nicholas Gates reporting, and of course, here is the unopened letter. The President of the United States has just not been open for two months, and we're fast approaching three months regarding cultural origin. Yeah. So Nicholas Gates reporting, it is pending the Victoria Village College Chapel Historic District. Wonder how many votes a Nicholas Cadiz get. I don't know. With the White House and a lot of media organizations on my side, I probably get pretty large percentage amount of votes. But anyway, I want to encourage everyone to vote for the premier for Congressman Fincher. I'm not even seeing if I'm voting for myself. I just want everyone to participate. Nicholas Cadiz for me. CNN, I kind of miss it. Isn't this a form of a patent, a letter from the President of the United States? This is Beatrix, this is your elected American boyfriend speaking. And of course, we're trying to make the Obamas like the Kennedy family here in the great state of Tennessee. So many people from around the world love me and Princess Beatrix being the celebrity couple here in Memphis, Tennessee. And of course, I kind of made a White House blog regarding it. And also a corporate appreciation to Tennessee Governor Bill Haskin and of course Shelby County Commissioner Heidi Schaefer. They are my two most favorite politicians here in Memphis, Tennessee that are over with the Republican Party. Of course, they're my two most favorite politicians. And also a corporate appreciation to Carol Chumley. Now, most people don't hear about Carol Chumley, you know, on the national level, you know, only on certain standards, but she is an awesome, awesome Democrat. She always supports me on Facebook. Very special person. And they're supposed to be supporting. Being an icon of Memphis. I support both Democrats and Republicans. I support those who people who are good for me. And good to me. They're supposed to be supporting. Nicholas Cadiz fan, you know, where is the, like, the, the, is it there like a, you know, a painting of me and Princess Beatrix somewhere in the White House? Nicholas Cadiz are for it, and seeing it, I kind of miss it. He snuck in the message, you even tell the President of the United States, how unique is that? God save the Queen. President Obama is always about diversity. He's an awesome, awesome person that comes to that office. This is Beatrice. This is your elected American boyfriend speaking.
And also regarding the global economy, I think it would be great if we put in, you know, the United Kingdom and, of course, other European nations. Europe's an important ally to the United States of America. And, of course, I just so love Buckingham Palace. We just include them in a lot of things we do regarding the uplift this global economy. It's just very important. But that's what I like, because I like my cultural heritage being a descendant of Victorian village, Thomas Shepard's State District. So I like anything having to do with the Queen, you know, the Pope. Princess Beatrice, of course, when you've been Princess Beatrice, so like an American boyfriend, I like it. So, I think it's very important. Question. Let me question. So Nicholas Gates reporting on conference call with the White House and of course Princess Beecher this is your elected American boyfriend as a young Republican just want to encourage everyone to vote whether it's for me or Congressman Spencer. So Nicholas Gates reporting we're trying to make the Obama family like the Kennedys down here in this is Tennessee. So Nicholas Gates reporting on conference call with the White House. See you tonight kind of Nicholas.
So Nicholas Gates reporting, Francis Beatrix is Israel elected American boyfriend speaking. I'd like to encourage everyone to vote in election 2014 for your favorite candidate. Corporate appreciation to the U.S. Secret Service, to the White House, and of course to everyone who contribute to this great democracy. Absolutely. So Nicholas Gates reporting, Princess Beatrix, this is your elected American boyfriend speaking on conference call today with the White House. Now, we all remember the story of um, the Kennedy family. And, of course, we have something on our Facebook page posted called The Love Story of Princess Beatrix and Mr. P.D. So right now, I'm on conference call with the White House trying to make, the, um, of course, the uh, White House under the Obama administration kind of like the Kennedy administration. And, of course, here I am. I am a Republican candidate, a right Republican candidate in Tennessee's 8th Congressional District, inspiring my generation to public service. And, of course, here is a letter from the President of the United States. And, of course, I even have an autograph from Caroline Kennedy herself who helped um, with the win of the President of the United States, President Barack Obama. So I'm going to show off the autograph of Caroline Kennedy that I have in my possession here in Tennessee's 8th Congressional District. And, of course, Caroline came here to Tennessee's 8th Congressional District. Nicholas Reeves reporting. Let's listen in. And, of course, one more promotion. Red, Red Rover, send the First Lady right over to La Bonner. Nicholas Reeves reporting. Seeing an icon of Memphis, Princess Future. This is your elected American boyfriend speaking. God save the Queen. So Nicholas Gates reporting, Princess Beatrix, this is your elected American boyfriend speaking here in Memphis, Tennessee, and of course in Tennessee's 8th Congressional District, a Republican candidate in Tennessee's 8th Congressional District is, of course, and of course on conference call this afternoon with the White House. So Nicholas Gates reporting, 
Um, a lot of people from around the world love the love story or the love tale of Princess Beatrix and Mr. Piggy. So that just inspired this. Of course, we're trying to make the Obama family like the Kennedy family here in the great state of Tennessee. Nicholas Piggy's reporting we're all that is my initiative. Seeing and I kind of miss it. Let's bring more love back to Tennessee politics. Thank you very much, and ladies and gentlemen, if you do it. So Nicholas, you used reporting on conference call this afternoon with the White House. Of course, I am a Republican candidate in Tennessee's 8th Congressional District. Nicholas, you used reporting also known as the Governor of the United States Congress and Princess Beatrice. This is your elected American boyfriend speaking, trying to promote bipartisanship here in Tennessee's 8th Congressional District. Let's just listen into the White House press conference. So Nicholas Geese once again is on a conference call with the White House as everybody can see. And of course, I am a Republican candidate in Tennessee's 8th Congressional District. And of course, Red Red Rover, let's send, send the First Lady right over. And Princess Beatrix, this is your elected American Board for the Speaker. executive action type things, the visa, the reduced wait times, if you can do that with current resources or are these things going to take additional um, budget funding? So just to be clear, I want to make sure that on the visa, that is an action we took a couple of years ago when those wait times in countries like Brazil and China were unacceptable at the time. We've achieved significant results in the State Department. And so I don't know if the president has actually signed any legislation today, but guess what? Since I'm on conference call, I think this is a pretty unique idea. I have the signature of the president of the United States, so it's inspiring all other presidential signatures. Nicholas Pierce reporting, seen in Icon of Memphis. I love history. And of course, Princess Beatrix, this is your elected American boyfriend speaker. Let's listen in once again. Our next question in queue will come from Mike Spellman with WUTR. Please go ahead. 
Hi, thank you for having me on. Uh, you mentioned earlier you said it was the hottest to get in the White House. Uh, were there any exhibits or collections in particular that President Obama is interested in seeing tomorrow at the White House? Well, as you know, he is an avid, avid White Sox fan from Chicago. So we sure hoping there'll be something there from Chicago. But now he's just looking forward to visiting it and drawing attention to a major, major tourist attraction for both of the United States as well as the Thank you. Our next question in will come from Michelle Weidendorf with the Post Standard. Go ahead. Hi, I, I just wondered how many people you expect to hear this president talk tomorrow. Who was invited? What many uh, people were invited? And do you President Obama, you didn't invite Princess Beatrix, elected American boyfriend, at any rate, a corporate appreciation to the White House from Memphis, Tennessee. And of course, Princess Beatrix, this is your elected American boyfriend speaking. Come on back down here to Memphis, President Barack Obama. Rick, Rick Roberts, send the first lady right over. Let's listen to this once again. Yes, yeah, so I have a question. In which ways is the, um, this plan is going to affect Memphis, Tennessee? It, who is President Barack Obama meeting with at the White House regarding the Red Sox? Hello? Awesome, thank you. So Nicholas V is reporting Princess Beatrix, this is your elected American boyfriend. The White House answered my question. How cool is that? I kind of made a presidential blooper. Sorry about that. Let's support Nicholas V, the United States Congress. God save the Queen. Thank you. We're going to have to shut our competitive edge and global job by you know, two years ago, we created something called Select Wrestling. This is a coordinated effort to attract foreign companies looking to invest and create jobs here in the United States. And today I'm going to my cabinet to expand these efforts. Starting a new one. And this October, I'm going to bring business leaders from around the world. And I'm going to connect them to state leaders and local leaders like the mayor. Nicholas Fugis reporting. Prince Harry here in Memphis, Tennessee, and of course, Princess Beatrix, I am your elected American boyfriend. Promote it on Facebook. Nicholas Fugis reporter. Here he comes. Right behind him, Nicholas Reese reporting. Seen in Icon and Memphis. There he is. Nicholas Reese reporting. Princess Beatrix is his elected American boyfriend. Documenting this. It was Prince Harry. Awesome, awesome. Nicholas McGee's reporting. All right. And here we are in Memphis, Tennessee. Nicholas McGee's reporting. Documenting. Print.
Prince William and Prince Harry on Nicholas Pegues. God save the Queen. And Princess Beatrix, I am your elected American boyfriend. Only on Nicholas Pegues. CNN Icon of Memphis.